HTML full course. Build a website tutorial. Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this course, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know to get started. Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this course, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know to get started writing H writing HTML. HTML. HTML stands for hyper HTML stands for hypertext text markup language and it's markup language and uh, it's basically just a language that we can use to create web pages basically just a language that we can use to create web pages so if you've ever been so if you've ever been on the internet Almost every single page on the internet was written in this language called HTML. On the internet, almost every single page on the internet was written in this language called HTML. And in HTML, and uh, in HTML, you can define the series of HTML texts. You can define a series of HTML tags which will define the which will define the layout and the look and the feel of your website. Layout and the look and the feel of your website. So if you can learn what those so if you can learn what those HTML tags are and if you can learn where to put them and how to use them together HTML tags are and if you can learn where to put them and how to use them together then you can build your own then you can build your own website it's actually a lot easier than people think to build a custom website. Website. It's actually a lot easier than people think to build a custom website. I mean, so often people will run... I mean, uh, so often people will run off to use like content management systems or uh, they use programs to build websites for them. Run off to use like content management systems or they use programs to build websites for them, but sometimes it's fun to just but sometimes it's fun to just go in and get your hands dirty and start building a website from scratch go in and get your hands dirty and start building a website from scratch and you're gonna learn how to do that and uh, you're gonna learn how to do that in this course in this course in this course in this course I'm gonna cover the basics of using I'm uh, gonna cover the basics of using HTML HTML so from the first lesson onto the last. So from the first lesson on uh, to the last lesson. Last lesson, you're going to be writing HTML. You're going to be. You are going to be writing HTML. You're going to be learning new tags, and uh, you're going to be learning new ways to manipulate a web page to make it be learning new tags and you're going to be learning new ways to manipulate a web page to make it look and feel the way look and feel the way that you want wanna 
want it to h html is an uh, invaluable skill you want it to html is an invaluable skill i mean even just putting h i mean even just putting html experience on your resume email experience on your resume could help you get a job one day or could help you get a job one day or it could just be something cool that you could brag to your friends about as awesome it could just be something cool that you could brag to your friends about as awesome as it is i think sometimes people I think sometimes people can be a little bit can be a little bit intimidated to try and learn HTML. Intimidated to try and learn HTML because it seems like there's so much to learn and it seems so complicated. Well, because it seems like there's so much to learn and it seems so complicated I'm here to tell you that it's I'm here to tell you that it's actually really actually really easy to learn and I'm gonna be easy to learn and I'm gonna be here with you throughout the entire course walking you through all of the basics trust me here with you throughout the entire course walking you through all of the basics trust me i've known html for a while so i know i've known html for a while so i know what's worth learning and what's not we are gonna cover everything that you need what's worth learning and what's not we're going to cover everything that you need we're going to talk about all the important things we are going to talk about all the important things and by the end of this course you're gonna have a true and full by the end of this course you're going to have a true and full understanding of what HTML is. Understanding of uh, what HTM HTML is, how to use it, and how to build your own website. Is how to use it and how to build your own website. Choosing a text editor in this tutorial I want to talk to you in this tutorial I want I want to talk to you about choosing a text editor for about choosing a text editor for HTML now whenever HTML now, whenever you are writing HTML, you are actually writing it inside of what's called an HTML file. If you are writing HTML, you're actually writing it inside of what's called an HTML file. So this is a file just... So this is a file just a lot like a text file but instead of a dot a lot like a text file but instead of a dot txt or a dot do txt txt or a dot do cx extension we have a dot html extension with CX extension we have a dot HTML extension so with HTML you're basically so with the uh, HTML you're basically just writing these HTML files 
and then your web browser is able to take those files and uh, you're just writing these HTML files and then your web browser is able to take those files and display them as web pages and it's sort of this really cool thing display them as web pages and uh, it's some of this a really cool thing but the first step in writing each but uh, the first step in writing HTML is picking some program that you can use to write these HTML files and HTML is picking some program that you can use to write these HTML files in. There's a bunch of different options. There's a bunch of different options. And when you're trying to choose an HTML. When you're trying to choose an HTML text editor, and uh, I think a lot of times it can get a little bit confusing or maybe text editor and I think a lot of times it can get a little bit confusing or maybe even a little bit overwhelming just because even a little bit overwhelming just because there are so many options and so many people have different options on which is the best there's so many options and so many people have different opinions on which is the best editor and you know what's the best editor and you know what's the best thing for beginners to do is uh, to do in this video thing for beginners to do in this video I just want to give you an over I just wanna give you an overview of like what are your options and then maybe give you some recommendations review of like what are your options and then maybe give you some recommendations as far as like where to start so, so with as far as like uh, where to start so with HTML text editors, uh, really all you need is just a simple text editor. HTML text editors, really all you need is just a simple text editor. So any text editor that you have. So any text editor that you have, which is capable of editing files and saving them in differ different formats is uh, gonna work for you and uh, which is capable of editing files and saving them in different formats is gonna work for you and generally when you're writing HTML generally when you're writing HTML you don't wanna use like a word processing program you don't want to use like a word processing program there's a lot of word processors out there's a lot of word processors out there you know microsoft word google docs LibreOffice out there uh, you know Microsoft Word Google Docs LibreOffice these are like these big word these are like these big word processing programs processing programs and this is generally not something that you want to use and uh, this is generally not something that you want to use so you don't want to be typing out your HTML so you don't want to be 
typing out your HTML inside of, uh, uh, you know, Microsoft Word. That's inside of a you know Microsoft Word. That's um, kind of an overkill when you're writing. Kind of uh, an overkill when you're running HTML. The simpler, the better. HTML. The simpler, the better. So a lot of times for. So a lot of times for beginners, people will recommend that you use the just very simple text editor that you have on your computer. For beginners, people will recommend that you use the just very simple text editor that you have on your computer. On Windows, it's going to be... On Windows, it's going to be Notepad. On Mac, the notepad on Mac, it's like text edit. It's uh, like text edit. And uh, these are just the bare bones. These are just the bare bones simple text editors and simple text editors. And it's actually more than enough that you need to write it's actually more than enough that you need to write html and so html and uh, so uh, like i said generally for beginners writing html in something simple like notepad or text edit like I said, generally for beginners, writing HTML in something simple like Notepad or text edit really forces you to. Really forces you to focus on writing the HTML, and you focus on writing the HTML, and you have to type out every single line, and you have to really to type out every single line and you have to really look to make sure that everything's formatted correctly and uh, look to make sure that everything's formatted correctly and it, ultimately it'll just help you to really ultimately it'll just help you to really grasp the fundamentals grasp the fundamentals but if you're somebody who but if you're somebody who doesn't want to use like notepad or text edit doesn't want to use like notepad or text edit you can actually use a special you can actually use a specially designed designed program and there's a bunch of these program and there's a bunch of these programs out there which are specially designed to write HTML in some of the popular programs programs out there which are specially designed to write HTML in some of the popular programs, uh, there's one called Atom. So there's one called Atom Sublime. Sublime, brackets, uh, text wrangler, web. Brackets, TXT regular, web storm. There's a bunch of these different programs that have been developed by different companies and... Uh, Storm. There's a bunch of these different programs that have been developed by different companies and you can go online and do... A you can go online and do a bunch of research 
but to research but essentially what these are a pro essentially what these are are programs that are especially designed to help you write your HTML programs that are specially designed to help you write your HTML so they'll take the HTML so uh, they'll take the HTML and uh, they might display it differently. HTML and they might display it differently. They might give you the ability to. They might give you the ability to use like advanced or different features that will make writing HTML a little bit easier. Use like add ons or different features that will make writing HTML a little bit easier. But as a penalty for that. But as a penalty for that. They're also a little bit more complicated. They are also a little bit more complicated to use. And so, like. I said generally for beginners like the less complicated to use and so like I said generally for beginners like the less complicated things are the better so complicated things are the better so you may wanna uh, more on the side of doing something simple so you may want to err more on the side of doing something simple and then once you learn HTML and uh, then once you learn HTML move up to one of these other programs I want to show you sort of the difference in what move up to one of these other programs I want to show you sort of the difference in what uh, these might look like these might look like so over here I have text edit so over here I have uh, text edit and this is just the default like text editor on Max and this is just the default like text editor on Macs. So if I open this you'll see here I So if I open this you'll see here I have this file and this is actually an HTML file. file. And this is actually an HTML file. So inside of this file I have written I have written a bunch of HTML and this is like the simplest simplest HTML document you're ever gonna see HTML and this is like the simplest HTML document you're ever gonna see but this is what writing but this is what writing HTML would look like in something like this. HTML would look like in something like this. And so if I wanted to add some more HTML. And uh, so if I wanted to add some more HTML down here, I could just type it out and uh, Down here I could just type it out and you know it, it's very simple there's nothing to configure there's nothing to add and uh, you know it's very simple there's nothing to configure there's nothing to add on you just sort of write out your HTML. You just wrote, write out your HTML. 
But something more complicated. But something more complicated. It would be a program, would be like, a program this. like this. This is called Atom, and this is one of those. This is called Adam. Text editors I was talking about. And this is one of those text editors I was talking about. And this makes it, you know, a little bit easier for you to... And this to makes it, a, you know, a little bit easier for you to write the HTML. You can see it's... write the HTML, you can see it's formatted a little bit differently, right? Formatted a little so, bit differently, right? So, this is the same code by... This is the same code, by the way. So, over here, these little tags are color. This is colored up here. Okay. So over here, these little tags are colored. This is colored up here. So there's different colors. So uh, there's different colors, generally, generally programs. programs. Like will allow you to choose different themes. Like this will allow you to choose different themes so I Themes. could so you, I could, you know, know the whole look and the feel of this. Make this whole look in the feel of this different. So there's a lot of really cool options. Different. And so there's a lot of uh, really cool options and configuration options that you can use with. A configuration options that you can use with a text editor, text editor like these. We also need to understand. But we also need to understand is writing HTML and this is doing doing exactly the same thing as uh, this doing functionally. And is writing HTML in this is doing exactly the same thing as this doing. Functionally, these are the same thing. They're just... These are the same thing. They are just, you know, it's an environment for us to write HTML in uh, so here's my recommendation you know, to you for us to write html in so here's my recommendation to you i would definitely recommend i would definitely recommend and a lot of people recommend uh, this starting with a simple text editor like this it doesn't have to be... And a lot of people recommend this, starting with a simple text editor like this. It doesn't have to be um, text edit, but it can be something simple. And Text edit, but it can be something simple. And the whole, the whole idea... idea is the simpler, the better. is that the simpler, the better, when you're first learning HTML. First learning HTML you don't want to have to worry about, you know, You don't want to have to worry about, you know, configuring different things or working with some heavy text editor working with some heavy text editor, you know, using something light and simple. You know, using something light and uh, simple, well, like, like it's just going to allow you to f 
text edit is just gonna allow you to focus on the HTML and then once you have a grasp for writing focus on HTML. HTML and then once you have a grasp for writing HTML and you really feel comfortable doing it and you really feel comfortable doing it then you can move up to a program like this now obviously that's just my recommendation then you can move up to a program like this now obviously that's just my recommendation you don't have to listen to me uh, you don't have to listen to me and if you do want to choose a program like if this, you do want to choose a program like this um, definitely do your research try out definitely do your research try out a couple different programs see which one fits for programs. you see which one fits for you you're gonna hear a lot of people online you're gonna hear a lot of people online saying like this text editor is the best that was the best you saying, know oh, this text editor is the best or that one's the best you know people have little fights about those things but people always get into little fights about those things but the best text editor is the one that is the right best text for is you the one that is right for you so it's the one that you enjoy using and so it's the one that you enjoy using the so most to what other people are don't listen so much to what other people are saying the best way to pick is just to try a bunch of these different text editors and as you There's go through this course through this course even you can try a bunch of different ones Even you can try a bunch of different ones and see how you you like using, each one. You like using each one. But again, for beginners, I would recommend starting. I would recommend starting simple HTML is a really HTML simple a language really simple language and so the less you can bog it down and so the less you can bug it down, down with like, like all, all these, these. add-ons and plugins and uh, add-ons and uh, themes like the better it is because with web development and just programming like in the better, general like because with web development and just programming in general it's usually the simpler it's usually the simpler and the more straightforward something is a the better something is it the is creating an html file 